4.15 left before the halftime break. And don't forget the halftime treat in store for you. Pepsi Challenge Hotspot Competition now moving to its climactic stage. Ricky Brown takes one off Willie Pearson. Bullseye! 15 points now for Ricky. Well, Willie Pearson does not play Ricardo Brown as tightly as Cristobal does. Ricky is starting to get his outside shots to go as Atoyko hits from the outside off the backboard. Well, looks like Atoyko is back in the groove. He groped somewhat for his long rifle early in the game, but now that he's worked up a pretty big sweat, uh, you can expect that rifle to keep blasting away. 48-46 of the count. Joel Banal in an unmolested situation misses a 15-foot opportunity. Atoyko pushes it down court. Here is Carlton Willis inside heavy traffic. Gidabin. Oh, Victorino lapsed a little bit on defense that time. Well, Victorino wanted to help out on Carlton Willis. That left Gidabin wide open. And we have the second standoff in our hands at 48 all. The last one occurred at two all very early in the game. Adornado, yes. So we've got a triple barrel threat right there on the floor now for the top yeah. of the end. But Willie Pearson makes it known that he too can come across with some rifle shots. It's 50 all, third deadline of the game. Both teams are shooting very well from the floor. A lot of confidence being displayed. This is a championship caliber match, no doubt about it. Ricky Brown, one of the few misses he's had tonight. And the Redmanizers are running the break, anchored on Willie Pearson. The Redmanizers are in the lead. That was a long uphill climb for the Redmanizers. They were down by as much as 12 points at one point, and we've got a timeout by Baby the Loop, and we'll be back. Two and a half minutes left before the halftime break. And Crispa enjoying a two-point lead after being on the short end of the score for a long, long time. But that lead just got annihilated by Ricky Brown. It's now 52 all, the fourth stalemate in our hands with 2.15 left. Well, Philip Cesar checked back into the ball game for the Crispa club. He replaced Villamin. Yoyo Villamin incidentally committed the 17 foul of Crispa about a minute ago. And so they're now in the penalty zone. Abed Gidabin continues to run rings around his defenders. He's already got 19 points. Bogs Adornado picks up his sixth point tonight, and it's 54 all. A brisk exchange of baskets here. Gidabin warding off Loisaga. Yes, no foul was called. Instead, Gudabin hits the bank shot. And so far, the matchup between Gudabin and Victorino has been all Gudabin as Gudabin has scored 21 points while Victorino only has three. Lopsided duel going on right now between the two stratospheres of the Crispa and Great Pace. And here's two on two, Adornado. Good fast break play. The fast breaks are really keeping Great Pace in this game. Well, the coffee men are themselves on the brink of team fall trouble. They've got six. Unproductive trust by the Redmanizers. The outlet pass going to Manny Victorino. He and Luis Papiosa misses a point blank range. And what's with Manny Victorino tonight? He's not playing his usual Papiosa. game. That's even an understatement. In the meantime, we've got a substitution. Bernie Papiosa goes out for Padim Israel. A lot more ceiling in the back line for the Redmanizers. Willie Pearson quarterbacking along with Padim Israel. Well, Padim is in the game. He'll probably be picked up by Boggs Adonato. That means Pearson has to play Ricardo Brown. Philip Cesar is watched by Jeff Collins. That's the same situation on both ends of the floor. Carlton Willis takes one off Bugs at Hernando, and Bugs plucks it off the air for the coffee men. Jeff Collins almost lost it. 40 seconds to go. Jump shot by Collins. It's counted with a foul to boot. Well, Cesar just picked up another oh, personal yes, foul. That's going to be his second. It's going to send Collins to the line for a chance for a three-point play. Likewise, a chance for great taste to erect a three-point lead with 38 seconds left before halftime. Watch that last piece of action resulting in the second personal for Philip Cesar. Well, to the eternal credit of Philip, another guy would have picked up five or maybe even six personals already watching Collins. Here is Israel. 
Chris was out of the court. Philip with a bounce pass inside. The pass was telegraphed beautifully by Manny Victorino. Here's Collins, gotta go for Prater. Oh, great dunk shot. I don't know where he took off from, but it looked oh, like close to oh, the this foul deserves line. a second oh, look, Norman. Boy, look at this. That's awesome. Awesome indeed. There was nothing Philip could do on that play, or anybody else for that matter. No mortal could have prevented that shot. And here's Collins putting the icing on the cake. Oh, there's no icing, just the two point play. 61 56, and the Redmondizers are piling up blooper after blooper. Well, Carlton Willis that time with a bad outlet, outlet pass. It's going to be great taste as basketball. Ricky Brown orchestrating the offensive as usual for the great day's coffee man. Padim Israel has the very unenviable task of trying to handcuff him. Oh, Collins just picked up his third personal foul. Warding off offensive on Philip Cesar. You know, this is the one chink on the armor of this otherwise fantastic player. He seems to be very foul prone. The worst thing was it came with 6.4 seconds left in the first half as Crispo will get the last shot. But Willie Pearson misses it. Willie bungling an opportunity to put Crispa to within three points as it stands now. It's a five-point hiatus. We'll have the breakdown of those. Worst thing was it came with 6.4 seconds left in the first half as Crispa will get the last shot, but Willie Pearson misses it. Willie bungling an opportunity to put Crispa to within three points as it stands now. It's a five-point hiatus. We'll have the breakdown of those scores and then some right after this. Trace is pretty much the difference in the game. The turnovers, Crispa has seven more turnovers than Great Taste. And on fast breaks, Great Taste definitely has the advantage. That's the reason why they're in the lead right now. They had 22 points on a fast break compared to only eight for the Crispa club. So Bernie Bernardo has to stop Ricardo Brown if it wants to stop the Great Taste fast breaks. 61-56 as we get off the pad with a third chapter of this unfolding epic. But Amy Israel working the ball close to the left side. Here's Carlton Willis asking for an isolation play against Chito Luisaga. He misses. Yoyo Guillemin is right there for attempted follow-up. Instead, he got a foul from Chito, Chito Luisaga. Luisaga. Yes. Well, Crispo was kind of lucky because Great Taste only had 13 defensive rebounds in the first half, Joe. And Crispo had 18 defensive rebounds. If Great Taste could have pulled down some more re defensive rebounds, they would have had more chances to fast break. A very early substitution for Coach Baby D. Adonato leaves the game. Carpio comes in. Well, while he was on the floor, Adonato contributed eight points for a Great Taste. There's, a, been, yes. there's only one reason why Coach Baby D could have taken Boggs out this early. He probably feels Boggs does not match up well defensively against any of the players that the Crispo club has on the court. That is the most logical and the most plausible explanation for that. And watch that. The great defensive work of the Crispo Redmanizers. And they are running their own brand of a fast break right now. Abid Gidabin hands off to Carlton Willis for the two. And once again, the Redmanizers are breathing down the necks of the coffee men. It's a one-point game, 61-60. Chito Saga, he's got his bulk confronted by Carlton Willis. And so far, Manny Victorino really cannot get his game going. What a time for Manny Victorino to have an off night. Oh, even that follow-up, he couldn't sink. Thanks to Collins, they got the two just the same. Well, the thing Manny has to do is just keep working hard. Eventually, if he keeps going at it, it's going to start coming through for him. All right, tenacity always pays off, and that was defensive tenacity to shown by Ricky Brown and Carpio consummates. Four points for Joey Carpio. One of the most underrated players in the league. He doesn't really get the kind of accolade that he richly deserves. Anyway, it's a five-point lead anew for great taste after a cluster of two baskets. Here is Philip Cesar. Abid Gidavin covered by Manny Victorino. Willis of Chito Luisaga. 16 points now for Carlton Willis. No doubt about it, Mr. Luisaga is not going to have a picnic dealing with Carlton Willis at this point. And Jeff Collins is having a very difficult time buying a basket. So illegal defense is called on Crispa. They're going to get a warning. Going back to Loizaga, he is in the game specifically to guard 